So the Huawei P30 Pro is here. We compared it to the Galaxy S10 Plus. Definitely go check out that video. But we found that Huawei's P30 Pro has some really unique features and one I consider truly insane. And you're going, wait, what feature? Yeah, insane. Well, I'm talking about the eight megapixel periscopic uh, lens. This has a 5X, um, 5x optical zoom and a 10x hybrid zoom, which is truly nuts. No camera has that on a smartphone currently in the market. It's got an f-stop of 3.4, but I've got to say though, like when we actually got some footage from the pre-briefing, we would take photos that looks really nice. But well, since Daniel now has the phone, he's out there in Paris. I said, look, take some photos. Let's see how it come. It works daytime and nighttime, and let people see how unique and interesting, and yes, insane, the P30 Pro's periscopic lens truly is. So let's jump in. All right, so we kick things off with a view of Paris. This is shot, of course, with the standard lens. You can see the Eiffel Tower in the distance, daylight photo, a lot of detail all around. It doesn't do too much, and it's a really nice shot. But of course, since the Eiffel Tower is there, we're gonna zoom in closer to the tower itself. This is a 5X zoom shot. You can see the Eiffel Tower quite clearly, nice detail, detail of the rooftop. You can see the number five in the building. All the other surrounding buildings are quite detailed enough here. Again, this is a daytime shot, so it looks really, really nice. And we can zoom in closer with a 10X zoom. Now you can see the Eiffel Tower is a little bit softer, but they still more detailed. The clouds in the back have now become a little bit more mushed out. But if you're looking for the Eiffel Tower, you can clearly see it. And this is something uh, that is really nice. Now we can push this photo and go to 50X which you don't want to do, but at least you can zoom in that far with this uh, smartphone. So here's a shot that might not look too interesting, but it's really important. You see the whole landscape, we're shooting directly towards the sun. Yes, there are clouds, uh, but you can still see detail of the buildings around, even though they're in the shadow. And you can see the rays of sunlight permeating ar around the clouds, a lot of cloud detail, which Danny Wingett likes. Now this is a 5X zoom shot. What's interesting about this is that there's still a lot of detail. You can see all those light patterns that come around, you know, the AI and the HDR modes that they have here are working pretty well. I like the detail that I see. And as we move in closer to a 10X zoom, there's still more detail on the edges of the cloud. Uh, of course, the center is really bright because we do have that uh, light source of the sun, but again, nice detail. So when you're shooting directly uh, uh, towards the sun, you're gonna be getting some good images and some good detail. Now, of course, we do have Danny Wingett here the shot and of uh, Mr. Tim Schofield. Uh, this is just a, a nighttime shot at a bar. Daniel felt like, you know, we could share this out, show you what at least a low light setting technically should be low light, but it looks pretty sharp here. It's not that low, but again, a good shot. Here's another shot outside uh, in Paris, low light setting, Danny Wingett's there. We know that's him because that's his sneakers. He's a sneakerhead, and you can see him clearly. Uh, this is an auto, so it's gone into like a bokeh mode. So there's a little bit of bokeh uh, background around. Now, speaking of nighttime shots, now we're gonna switch over to look at the, what the periscopic zoom can do at night. We've got the street crossing here, and there is, uh, of course, there's some signage, street signage, dead center, which we want to zoom in. Simple image, you know, not too bad, but once we zoom in the 5X, you see how it darkens everything around and focuses on the center point. You can see all the lettering from that signage quite well. If you speak French, you can read it. You can see the sign, the cars in motion, everything looks pretty clear. We move into 10X, you can can still read the signage with more detail. Um, Champ de Mars, you can see also the uh, the posters that are all the stamps or the stickers that have been put on the signage as well. So that is really nice and a lot of good detail. Now here is another shot for you here. Uh, of course, this is a roundabout. There's a building in the center we want to focus in. And that building has some, some text on there which we want to read from here. And I'll show you that in a second as we move over to to the 5x zoom at 5x you can see again a dark everything is darkened around again the f-stop here is f 3.2 but the focus is on the building and we can see the letters on the building you can see some details of the building but it's again it's a pretty dark image you, you will get these kind of photos but as we move on to 10x zoom you can read that if i spoke french i would be able to read that for you but anybody who does can please go ahead and read that and you can see the lettering there it's very de it's detailed enough for you to read so that's actually pretty good uh, and now, 
It's so of only fair for us to end this on the uh, Eiffel Tower, which we started with. Of course, this is the center piece of um, you know landmarks in Paris, and this daytime, sorry, this nighttime shot looks absolutely amazing. Uh, it, you can see it captures the lighting of the scene. It doesn't make it white or daylight because we're not in daylight. This is night, so it looks really good. And the Eiffel Tower really stands out. A lot. I like the lighting and the feel all around. As we move to the 5x zoom, you can still see the details of the tower as we focus on the top part of the spire and we can see the uh the kind of like the antenna on the very top and we want to focus on that a little bit more moving to 10x as we zoom up you can clearly see that even though it's a bit fuzzier but there's still enough detail for you to understand what this is quite clearly so this is quite impressive now a lot can be said for the p30 pro but truly this periscopic lens brings something unique and new to the table. As wide angle lenses were pretty big and have caught on with a lot of manufacturers, Huawei is setting a new stage here. So I'm glad to see that they're doing something different this time around. And I've got to say though, I was impressed with some of the low light photography from the periscopic lens. Yes, we know their standard lens with the RYYB is truly insane and nuts, but zooming in at 5X and still seeing some of the great quality there is really good. But you can see that it really helps and it does a good job even in just lettering when you're zooming into text you can see the text well so i can see this this camera being used for uh you know uh, taking a lot of photos of landmarks where you can't get close to them or you want to get a better shot or you're a little bit far away i, I think this is absolutely fantastic and uh, yeah i'll call it an insane feature because now i can actually zoom in proper on my smartphone so there you have it guys if you have any questions or any comments about the huawei p30 pro let me know if there is any more video you want me to do on the p30 pro i'll gladly do it for you guys just leave that in the comments daniel's coming back bringing the phone back here so i'll be doing of course some more comparisons some wireless charging stuff some fast charging all that stuff that you want to see and of course Marion will get his hands on the P30 Pro to do an in-depth camera review. All right, guys, thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification icon, and always enjoy your entertainment.